Hey guys, it's me, Vanessa. I want to make my video for my week 56 post-op BSG surgery. Back in January of 2014, I was at my highest weight of 280 pounds. On, it was March 13th of 2017, I got the weight loss surgery, uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, and that was on, I was at 235.2 pounds. And then this morning I weighed in at 155.6. So that was a gain last week of 6.2 pounds, a total loss since surgery of 79.6. And from my highest weight, I am down 124.4 pounds. So last week was interesting. Um, so we went to Berlin for spring break which I was extremely excited to do that because this is something that I wanted to see since I was a child. I was stationed with my father at Han Air Force Base back in, it was I think 88 or 89. And then we left I think in 91. So as a child, I was in Germany and it was something that, you know, when the wall came down, I was there. So I saw a lot of what you know like the pride people had and the excitement of the wall coming down and it, it was a huge deal uh, when I was a child but it was still one of those things where my parents really didn't want us to go um, so we never got to see Berlin and so it was really neat seeing it now as an adult and understanding the history behind it and also remembering how it was back when I was here in the late 80s. So it was a lot of fun. I actually um, enjoyed enjoyed the whole city. We spent about three days there. So it was really nice seeing everything and not worrying about counting calories. And it was just, we did a lot of walking, it, but it was, it was a lot of fun. I still did my workouts. Um, I actually took my phone, I have an app that has the workouts on my phone. And so I just did one of my workouts in the hotel. I used one of the days as a rest day. And then what I did was I moved everything uh, ahead some. So instead of doing my rest day on Sunday, I did my last workout of the week on Sunday. And so I got in everything. I did not have to double up, which those I don't wanna double up because they're an hour long. So. Um, did really well with that. I did not run because I knew that I was going to be gone for spring break. So I took a week off of running, but I'm going to start this week again. Uh, but last week, last week was a mess. I had plans. I, I wanted to do certain things and I just, it just did not follow through. So I actually, uh, I would say, okay, so I do have regrets that I didn't follow a plan that I had laid out, but I don't have regrets too because I was able to relax and not be so like controlled and worried. And it, it was just so nice not having to track my food for once. And I've been tracking for over a year. So it was really nice not to have to worry about that for a week. And I know that, you know, the 6.2 pounds that I gained, it's majority water weight, it's not all fat. So it's one of those things where, yeah, I hate the fact that I gained weight, um, but it's nothing that I can't get right back off. I'm back on plan today and it was kind of nice to have that little break. Um, would I do things differently? Yeah, I would definitely do things way different. Uh, for one, I do think that this surgery has dramatically helped because if I were go to go on vacation any time before surgery, I would eat a lot more than I did. So that's the great thing about it, but I was eating a lot of junk and I could tell my body was just so tired. When I was doing my workouts, I could tell a huge difference between eating on plan and not eating on plan. So that's the one thing I do regret that I didn't kind of watch what I ate and chose, you know, fruits and vegetables into my meals. I was eating mostly just junk. I mean, like I was eating, I was eating donuts. I was eating ice cream. I was eating, 
you know, fast food. I was eating like all this junk that I know my body just did not need. So I'm going to crash hard. I think, uh, this week after getting back on track, I think my body's going to crash hard because, um, I started having the cravings again and it was weird, you know, for the past, what, almost three months I've been on track pretty much a hundred percent with the plan that I'm doing. So all of the food that I used to eat, I was not eating all that. So, um, cravings had gone. Uh, I wasn't even drinking my shakes. Like it was so bad. So I, I really need to focus on another time that we go on vacation. I need to focus on eating a balanced diet with the splurges and not just go crazy like I did. And I don't know if I went crazy because I had not been eating junk food before. And so it's like, it like turned a switch on my brain that I was like, Oh, this is sugar. This is awesome. And then I just couldn't get enough. And so, you know, that's the one thing that I do like about allowing myself to have certain things throughout the week. If I want it, it helps take away that excitement of these foods. Um, but I also like not eating it because I wasn't craving anything. I was, I, I felt great when I was following my plan hundred percent. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still in that process of figuring out what's going to work long term for me. Um, but my goal right now is just to get this 6.2 pounds off me and to, um, get right back to my goal. I have only two more weeks of ADD obsession left. So my next goal is just to finish that out. And then I'm going to do continuing, um, the mile and a half, uh, two days a week I'm going to do. So, uh, when I get done with ADD obsession, I'm actually going to work up to two miles, uh, twice a week. So it's going to be exciting to, you know, increase the amount of miles that I do a week for running. Um, but yeah, I just, this week has been rough. Uh, well this past week I should say. So I just, I need to, I need to really pull through and stick with my eating and make sure that I don't veer off and that I, I make these last two weeks amazing and worth it. So I, I want great results and I know that this one week is not going to ruin all three months that I've done of this program. So I need to forgive and move on and not worry too much about, you know, the weight gain and understand that this is a little hurdle and this is something that I will overcome and move forward with. Uh, the thing that would get me in trouble is if I didn't get back on track and I allowed myself to continually, um, snack and eat foods that were junk. So now that I'm back on plan and doing things that are healthier for my body and I didn't stop working out, I think that was a good balance for me to continue going on and eating healthier and getting back on track. So I think if I wouldn't have worked out while I was on vacation, uh, it would be a lot harder for me to get back on track. And the fact that I was eating so healthy for so long, it just, it became natural. Like my body was craving the healthy foods. It was craving getting back on my eating plans. So it felt, it felt really good having my shake this morning and then having my pre-workout meal. So I'm, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to get this 6.2 pounds off me. And I, I can't believe this is the last week of phase three. And then I do peak week and I'm done with this program almost 13 weeks. This is crazy. This is awesome. Um, I am, as many of you know, going to start max 30 after this. So it's going to be really high intense, uh, workouts, but I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm, I, I can do this. I know I can. And I'm still trying to figure out the diet part. Um, but I think I got it kind of figured out on how I'm going to do, uh, because I'm in maintenance, uh, with that program. So I'm able to eat a lot more, um, than in losing calories. Um, but I'm still using losing calories on this plan, uh, because I need to get the weight off, but I will talk to you all very soon. Have a great week. And if you're not following me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm under Cessa Lopez and that's about it. So I'll talk to you all soon.